Okay, so what I'm doing is tonight I'm having um, basically I got some shaved or shaved steak, bell pepper, onion, and provolone cheese. I'm making a bunless um, Philly cheese steak. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this onion off, slice it up into some pieces. I'm not gonna use the whole thing. I'll probably end up saving part of it. But as you'll see, what I'm using for pairing is my open L. This is my number seven um, for dicing up these onions. But uh, the steak is so thin that I'm gonna basically I'm going to um, cook the onions and pepper, get them started first, and then um, I'll throw the steak in on top because they're pretty thin. It's pretty thin stuff. It's shaved. It's not uh, chunked or anything like that. So, yeah, it'll work pretty good. Got a little olive oil to put in the cast iron right here. So, uh, and I got my my GSI seasoning missile with salt, pepper. Uh, there's some oregano, some garlic, and that's just some grilling seasoning. So anyway, let me get this all cut up and we'll be back. Okay, let me get this stove lit. I love this little stove, guys. I really do. I am in love with the stove. This is my gas one. I'll tell you what, I um, bought this bell pepper several weeks ago. Well, actually, it said 821 on it. Cut it up, froze it, and I cut that seal open on that bag. It smelled like it was fresh bell pepper, like I just cut it up. But uh, that's the way I did it was to freeze it. That way I already had the ingredients ready to go. And we're going to throw, we're going to take our little missile. We're throw a little salt in here. Like so, we're going to throw a little pepper in here. A little salt and a little pepper. I think while we're at it, just back on one. We're going to, I think we'll put some garlic powder on this, or garlic salt, what it is. Be careful, because it's big holes. Big holes, that could be bad. All right, so we got that. Let me get this, get the peppers and stuff cooking, and I'll be back. Boy, I wish y'all had smell-o-vision right now, the smell of this pepper and onions cooking. Oh my goodness, man. They just, uh, they're rocking. They are rocking. The cool thing about it is I gotta get a bigger table because as it is, I can sit down at this table with my chair. But right now I'm standing because I don't want to appear too lazy. I can also tell I got a good seasoning on this cast iron piece now. There's nothing really sticking to it. It's all just gliding right along. I think it's time to throw the steak in there now. You don't want the onion and stuff to get too done too fast. So, this steak, this piece may be a little bit still in the... This is shredded steak. Uh, local grocery store Kroger has it this way. They only have it a few times a year. And I bought a bunch of it here not too long ago. And put it up in half pound bags for just this right here for camping. Yeah, we're starting to get some stick in now. That's all right. That's all right. Season that pan some more. I think it's still a little frozen too because I froze all this um, for down the road. I'm going to have to wash my hands again. Sanitize them. This shredded, this shaved beef, I mean, it's perfect for this.
I'll throw just a little bit more olive oil in there. That's all I cook with anymore with diabetes is olive oil. Since I increased the amount of stuff in here, I'm gonna put a little more salt and pepper. A little more salt. Spin this around. A little pepper. If you're wondering how this looks, it's this right here. But you got three levels to it, and you can put three different things in it. Pretty neat. That was probably blurred the whole time. We'll uh, throw a little bit more garlic in it. There we go. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I can already tell. I'm getting some sticking in the pan, but I'm alright with that because you know what that does? It just season that skill a little bit more. But they also carry a shaved chicken also, and I think I think that's it. Shaved chicken and shaved beef. So, oh, so there you go, guys. I got the provolone cheese melting as we go. She's just about done. So that's my take on Philly cheesesteak bunless. So give it a try. Like I said, wasn't a whole lot to it. You can use chunk beef if you want to, or use any kind of sirloin that's cut up real fine. But like I said, my store has shaved beef, and that's what I use. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching Cooking with Mitchin Outdoors. Be prepared.